Thanks for watching. I'm David Allen. Our top story tonight, the Virginia Beach City Council votes to move forward with the dome site project. Tonight, council approved a non-binding term sheet for construction and operation of a brand new surf park and music venue. But the vote did not come without some controversy from the public. Many residents are skeptical that the city is investing nearly $100 million. Robert Boyd is live with the story. Well, David, uh, a lot of residents said they like this project, but some of them questioned, isn't the city supposed to invest in infrastructure, not entertainment? But in the end, the mayor said tonight's vote sent a clear message. Virginia Beach is open for business. A project 30 years in the making is one step closer to becoming a reality. The project contains an innovative surf park. It contains a state-of-the-art music venue, and it includes the vision of Pharrell Williams. Members of the business community say it's what Virginia Beach needs to be a year-round destination. After decades of sitting vacant, which is uh, almost longer than I've been alive, uh, it looks like we finally have a project that made it worth all the wait. As time marches on, the lack of an anchor development has taken its toll on the Central Beach area. But taxpayers questioned, if it's such a great project, why isn't it being privately funded? Virginia Beach plans to invest $95 million and lease the 10-acre property to the developer for $1 a year. I don't want to ride the surf per perfect wave. I just want to be able to keep my house and not lose it because I'm being taxed to death in this city. You have a music mogul that's involved in the, in the uh, park, in the wave park. Why isn't he building it? Is it not profitable? So are we going to be on the hook for some big risk? But according to the city, over the next 20 years, the project will generate $57 million for the general fund and $49 million for public schools. It's also expected to create 2,000 jobs once the site opens. One our responsibility to bring more wealth, new money into this city. And I think by doing this, we send a message that Virginia Beach is open to business. We're willing to listen. Now, the only council member to vote no tonight was council woman Jessica Abbott, but she actually said she does like the project. She just wants to make sure that a good chunk of the money generated from this surf park goes back to stormwater management. Live in Virginia Beach, Robert Boyd, 13 News Now. Tonight, Venture Realty Group released a statement from Pharrell Williams on the project. He says they have renamed the project Atlantic Park. Pharrell saying although a portion of this project is built with private investment, the land will remain in the ownership of the public. We want Atlantic Park to offer growth and opportunity for our community to help Virginia Beach reach its fullest potential. We'll continue to bring you developments as this project progresses.